Corinthians 7, 3 through 4. The husband must give the wife her conjugal dues, and the wife in the same must give her husband his. The wife cannot do as she pleases with her body. Her husband has power in the same way a husband cannot do as he pleases with his body. His wife has power. Marriage is a union between man and woman, united together by God become one flesh. When you're one flesh, you're co-working. When you work together, you don't deny either what you can give. Okay. Esther Esther 4, 12 through 17. 4, 12 through 17. They told to Mordecai Esther's words. Then Mordecai asked them to return, answered to Esther. Ask them to return, answer to Esther. Don't think to yourself that you will escape the king's house any more than all the Jews. They're saying, she's being told that, don't think she's safe. Because she's in the king's house, she's still a Jew. She's going to face the wrath, the judgment that just comes. It's saying, don't just be concerned with yourself, because if this happens, you're going to be facing trouble too. Verse 14. For if you remain silent now, then relief and deliverance will come to the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Who knows if you haven't come to the kingdom for such a time as this. So they're saying you may have came. The Lord may have brought you as queen because so you can save them. They know they're God's people. They know God's going to save them regardless of what goes on. But if she ignores the need, she's going to have to answer to God for it. If God shows us the need and we ignore it, when we have the ability and power to take care of it, we're going to have to answer to him for that. Oftentimes we miss out on blessings because of this. Verse 15. Then Esther asked them to answer Mordecai, Go gather them all the Jews who were present in Shushan and fast for me, neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. And I will, and I, and my maidens will fast the same way. Then will I go into the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So she's going to do this. They're fast to show this is something they're committed to, and they ask the Lord to be there with them. She's willing to risk her life. For what is right. We should be willing to risk our life for what the Lord shows us is right. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther had commanded him. So at this point, they're going to fast because the need of what they're doing is so important. It's so risky. She knows that if the king isn't, doesn't receive her, her going into him is death. But she's willing to do it for her people. How all, uh, close do we hold the people of the church, the fellow believers? Oftentimes we shun other believers when they're down. Are we willing to go to the point where they